guys, so today I'm doing a video on my insecurities and I thought this was really important to make this video. I want to explain to you um, my story and how I overcame my insecurities and learn to uh, change the way I thought about them and learn to just love myself and accept myself for who I am and how I'm different from other people and what ways I'm different from them and to change the things I could change to make me happy. Find out what your insecurities are, what you're insecure about, confront them, and try to learn to love them. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my insecurities growing up and how I've overcome them and how I wanna to try to inspire you to overcome your insecurities also. My thumbs. I was so, okay, you guys are gonna, you guys might have never seen thumbs like this before, but this was one of my biggest insecurities. It was my thumbs, and I'm gonna show you why. And I used to cover my thumbs like in my sweater. I would cover them like I would always like tuck them into my hands like this. I was like so embarrassed by them. And I thought like there was something wrong with me, and I didn't want the other kids to see it and laugh at me and make fun of me. And so I always like hid them and I was very self-conscious of them. And I'm gonna show you why. They're not normal thumbs. They're thumbs that not very many people are born with. Okay, so brace yourself. So these are my thumbs. And as you can see, like they're not normal, right? Like this is they look like a toe on my on my hand. Like that's this is what my thumbs look like. Pretty weird, right? and it's almost like they're deformed and um it's just i was just born with thumbs like this so for the longest time i got made fun of and i used to suck my thumbs a lot when i was little and people were like oh it's from sucking your thumbs and i'm like i don't think so i know a lot of people don't suck their thumbs their thumbs don't look like this i that was a huge insecurity for me and i dealt with like i dealt with that for a very long time i was always like super super embarrassed about my thumbs and like people made fun of them all the time which is like so mean for people to do um it's like you don't make fun of someone for being like autistic you know what I mean so just people make fun of things that are not like it's just really not nice like you really shouldn't do that you should always try to be nice to people and love them for who they are and accept them for you know things that aren't perfect about them because nobody is perfect nobody I don't care who you think is perfect, I guarantee you if you knew that person, you would find out all types of things that they're insecure about. Over the years, this was something that, you know, I looked and I was like, God, why did someone, like, why did, why was I made like this? Like, why would they want to give this to me and like give me something that's gonna be so hard for me to deal with and people are gonna make fun of me and like, it's just not fair. And you know what? I learned that, are you kidding me? I ha I'm upset about my thumbs. <laughs> There's so many other things going on in the world that are so much worse than my thumbs and I cannot believe that I'm putting all my energy and being so upset over my thumbs. There's people that can't walk. There's people that can't see, they can't hear. And I'm like over here feeling sorry for myself because of my stupid thumbs. Like, and it just hit me one day and I was like, God, I am so lucky for like all of the things that I have. It almost like makes me want to cry because we have to like remember like how grateful we are for like what we do have. And I have so many amazing things and people and family and friends. And I have like the best life ever. And I'm worried about my thumbs. Like, ugh. so I got over that real quick. Let me tell you, um, I learned to love my thumbs and they're different than everybody else and they're unique and not very many people have this. And so I've learned to embrace them and love them and be like, yeah, it took up a cool, toe thumbs or mushroom thumbs whatever like people used to tease me and call me names about so that was something that I learned to get over really quickly and just remember like I should be so grateful for the things that I have I need to not be worried about like my thumbs and just learn to love them because it's part of me and who I am it makes me different from my friends and the other people in the world and so I love my thumbs now and I, I love them so much that I'm able to share them on camera to all of you guys and show you like this was a huge insecurity for me and I used to hide them and now here I am showing them to all of you guys because I want you guys to know that I've learned to love myself and if I can do it you guys can do it too. 
So another thing I was so insecure about was my nose. Now, um, might most <laughs> might of you, most of you guys might have known that I've actually had not one nose job, not two nose jobs, but three rhinoplasties on my nose. Now, let me tell you the story because there's a story behind this. You're probably like, oh my god, you got three nose jobs? Ugh, get out. But yeah, it's true, I did. Growing up, I never liked my nose. Uh, it was big and ugly and it was like all you saw on my face and I hated it. Like, I hated it. I would like go home and I would cry about it and it was just like, it was so sad like and ridiculous that I honestly like some people watching this might live in like other states and other cities but you guys have to remember like I was born and raised in Los Angeles California now everybody here all they care about is what they look like you guys all know that they're trying to constantly perfect themselves and make them look perfect and, and my mom worked in plastic surgery like her whole life basically so my whole adulthood growing up um, you know I was exposed to that world and so I thought that I needed to look like all of these other girls or you know I wouldn't be pretty and of course like everybody wants to feel pretty and wants to look in the mirror and like be happy with what they see and I wasn't happy with what I saw and thankfully because my mom did work in plastic surgery I got my first nose job when I was like 15, no not 15 I think I was like 16 16 or 17 so that's really young but my mom had her first nose job when she was like 14 or 15. So it kind of was like in the family that like everybody had gotten a nose job. And my mom has eight brothers and sisters and all of the girls have had nose jobs like when they were in junior high or high school, at least as far as I know. So it was kind of just something that like she grew up with. And so, you know, we grew up with and my sister got her nose job like when she was really young. You know, when they first, when you're that young and they first do a nose job on you, you grow into like your face. You're not fully grown yet. So they're very like conservative with the way that they do it. So I was happier with my nose, but there was still things about it that I wanted to change. And, and this comes into, I'm not contradicting myself as far as like, if you have something that you're born with, you need to learn to love it. I think that things that you cannot change about yourself, I think those are things you need to learn to love, like my thumbs. I'm not getting surgery on my thumbs to make them look like normal thumbs. Um, I don't even think they have a surgery for that. Uh, but, you know, this is just something I'm gonna learn to live with and, 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 and that I've learned to embrace and love about myself. When there was something that I could change, that I could change about myself to make myself inside feel happier, then I was all for it. And my mom understood and knew that, and so she was very supportive. So I got a second nose job, wasn't happy with that one. I finally got a third nose job, and I made a whole like video on my rhinoplasty and advice for people getting nose jobs, and I'll link that, um, I'll link that either down in the description so that you guys can like watch that if you want. But I am all about like being happy, loving life, inspiring others and making other people feel good about themselves and I feel like if there is something that you do not like that you can change about yourself whether it be something on your physical appearance or something inside or how you feel about something then change it because you have the capability and the power to change those things so why not change it just like I changed my way of thinking about my thumbs and now I'm happy and I, that's not an insecurity for me anymore so I did the same thing with my nose, except I just got my nose done because it made me happy and I didn't care what other people thought about me or what I was doing because at the end of the day, I'm left with myself and I want to feel happy and I want to feel good when I look in the mirror. So when I was in junior high and high school, I was put on medication. It made me gain weight. It made me gain a lot of weight. I wasn't used to being bigger uh, and all my friends were skinny. It was really hard for me. I was very insecure about my weight. Thankfully now I'm not on the medication I was when I was little. You know, that was something that I had to deal with for a long time and I know a lot of girls deal with um, issues with weight or being overweight or being too skinny or whatever the case may be. Basically what I'm trying to say is some people might look at other girls and think she's so pretty and she's so perfect and 
she has this perfect life and a perfect boyfriend and you know all these things and and they think that like my life might be like the most perfect life in the world but I just want you to know that I am just like you I have insecurities and things I don't like about myself just like you don't like certain things about yourself so I really thought this video was important to make because I really wanted to help inspire you guys to love yourselves no matter what because you're beautiful no matter what anybody says or what anybody thinks if you're not happy with something I want you to try to fix that whether it's changing your way of thinking or being able to change something about yourself. I really just wanted to make this video because I thought it was important to be able to share the message to other people that nobody is perfect. Nobody. And we all have insecurities and I just want you to try to learn to love yourself and love the things that you can't change and fix the things that you can change because you have the power over you to be able to feel the way you want to feel. Nobody else can make you feel happy. Nobody else, well, that's not true. People can make you feel happy, but nobody can make you happy but yourself. And I just think that that's so important to know because when I was younger, I didn't know that. And it took me a really long time to learn it. And I wish there was somebody to tell me that you make your life what it is. No one's gonna make it for you. You have to go out there and do stuff that you wanna do because nobody's gonna do it for you. Anything that you wanna do, you can do. You can literally do whatever you want. And if that means changing something that you don't like about yourself or changing the way you think about something, it's just something that I'm like so passionate about. And I just really wanna help other people to learn to love themselves and know that they're beautiful no matter what anybody says, no matter what you think about yourself, change the way you think right now, right this second, because you are pretty, you are beautiful, you just have to feel it in here and know it and then it will come true. I love you guys all so much. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope that you guys all have an amazing day and hopefully I see you in my next video.